group of agents undertake Operation Crossbow when rumors fly of a new German secret weapon. There's a vital job to be done. The outcome of the war may depend on how you handle it. You've read these reports that the Germans are developing long-range rockets in order to bombard Britain. Yes, I have, but they're extremely vague and in some respects contradictory. I want you to find out quickly whether this rocket threat is real. And if so, to recommend how we should tackle it. Do you want me to do this as well as my job at the Ministry of Supply? You think you could manage both? Well, I'll just have to do with rather less sleep. I'd take a heavy bet on it. Yes, I think you're right. It's a bloody great rocket. Operation Crossbow, tomorrow at 6.45 on BBC One. And there's more film entertainment later this evening on BBC One, which centres around the dangerous sport of sidecar racing. Ben Murphy and John Clayton are the sidecar racers at 11.45. That's after Omnibus, which tonight visits New York, where last year some of the world's leading opera singers gathered to make a recording of the celebrated musical West Side Story, conducted for the first time since 1957 by its composer, Leonard Bernstein. Another unusual departure in the world of music is featured on Radio 3 beginning on Monday morning at 5 past 9 when this week's composer is the legendary pianist and band leader Duke Ellington. And next week, Omnibus looks at the controversy surrounding the public inquiry into the future of Mansion House Square, the proposed location for a new tower block which involves the demolition of a number of Victorian buildings. The battle between the conservationists and the modernists over Mansion House Square in Omnibus next Friday at 10.15. And now to round off this evening on BBC One, our late film takes us into the dangerous and exciting world of sidecar racing with Ben Murphy, Wendy Hughes and John Clayton. <laughs>